All right, the Canes just keep recruiting. Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football, breaking down Miami in particular on this day with a wholesome one. Please check him out on his YouTube channel. It's H-O-L-S-U-M and the number one. And, of course, lock it in right here at Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football, where we deliver the best in discussion, debate, and analysis. Wholesome one. You got to be feeling good. Absolutely, man. The Canes are not only heating up on the trail, we are blazing right now on the trail in recruiting. And uh, we've added two prospects to this class, one off the edge and one going deep for the touchdown, man. And we're excited about what we're bringing to the Canes, man, especially from South Florida and in Thomas Davis's perspective, South Georgia, a place we need to go ahead and start infiltrating into. Little offense, little defense with Thomas Davis and Brashard Smith. Let, let's start with uh, Brashard Smith uh, joining us. So let's see out of uh... – He's one of the five out of Miami Palmetto. There yes, you go. Sir. He is the first of the Palmetto Five to officially commit to the University of Miami. I mean, everybody has their own viewpoint of going five for five or three for five or four for five, whatever you want uh, out of the Palmetto Five. But either way, uh, any combination of these great elite prospects coming to Miami is huge, uh, especially because all five of them have the SEC offers. They have the Big Ten offers. They have – uh, all the offers you would think of coming down here. And we got this speed, dynamic player of Rashad Smith, five foot nine, 190 pounds already going into his senior season. You know, those are the type of slot wide receivers that we have not been signing, Mark. We've gone and got the five nine, 160 pound guys, the five nine, five eight, 170 pound guys. We're already getting a guy who's probably going to be about. 195, maybe 200 when he is signed to Miami. And that's when you talk about your SEC slot wide receivers, your dynamic guys who can take a hit, but they can blaze you down the field. And Brashad Smith is that type of player. Yeah, he can find the sticks, uh, square up a, a DB and block him out and uh, make those critical catches on third down as well. 57th rated wide receiver, top 50-ish player in the state of Florida, again, out of Miami Palmetto. And the 247 Sports Composite has him around top 350 in the country. So, Absolutely. yeah, that's what I keep hearing out of everyone. The first word that comes out of their mouth, Brashard Smith, speed. Speed. Speed, man. And, and some people are comparing him to uh, Tony from Florida. Some people are comparing him to, you know, all these other guys. And like I've said continuously, we want these players to be themselves. Uh, come here and be the absolute best that you can be. So I'm not comparing Bashad Smith to anyone. I want Bashad Smith to come be a Miami Hurricane and be the absolute Bashad Smith that he can be. Uh, but when you watch his film, a couple of things instantly stand out. Uh, his punt and kick return ability. All uh, right, He has four punt and kick return touchdowns from this to 2019 season that just passed. Um, and the way this young man plays on special teams is not only as a returner. The second play of his highlight tape, is him blazing in front of the returner to get the key block to spring the other guy free to go down the field and score the touchdown. So we're getting an unselfish special teams player who then turns around on offense and the way he breaks in and out of cuts. I mean, a recorded 4.34 shuttle, meaning he's not only good straight line speed in 4.4, but he's fast side to side. And that's what you need, that nimble elusiveness side to side wiggle room at, in your slot wide receiver. And he's thick enough to come down and get key blocks as he is to a former running back for the Richmond Giants down in South Florida. Okay, so he's big and thick enough to play running back, come out and play wide receiver. He's not afraid to block. He's not afraid to be a special teams guy. But then he'll turn around and have 36 receptions for 628 yards and 13 touchdowns as a wide receiver. And he eats and lives – in the slot, whether he's running his slants, whether he's running uh, quick ins and outs, whether he's running the one elite route I've seen is the way he plants on a post. Man, the way he splits cover two and that whole player and the linebacker comes over top and he's able to give him the plant and he gets right over and right in between the safeties. Touchdown. If you watch any film on him, you'll see that continuously. Man. And we're excited to bring him in into University of Miami. This guy right here, he is the wholesome one. He loves Miami football. He's excited, and he's also knowledgeable about football, coaches it, knows it, breaks down the game tape. Check him out on his YouTube channel. Again, it's H-O-L-S-U-M and the number one right here on YouTube. 
Thomas Davis. There was a Thomas Davis once upon a time who played at the University of Georgia and went on to the NFL. Different Thomas Davis here played in the state of Georgia in high school football and uh, did rather well as an outside linebacker, and he's making his way south. Absolutely. It's funny you say that comparison. I mean, the names are something we can't afford not to compare them to. Uh, but it's very similar. I mean, Thomas Davis did a lot of edge rushing in high school and some in college at Georgia and transitioned to a stand-up true linebacker. And that's exactly what this Thomas Davis is going to do for the Miami Hurricanes. He's going to play our inside linebacker at Miami. I mean, one thing stands out about this young man is he is ultra strong, country strong. You watch his film, the way he engages and throws linemen who are almost twice his size. It is amazing to watch, man. And we're super excited what's going on with the University of Miami right now in recruiting. Number one, we can be all season warriors, but we have to tie it all together for what goes on in the season. Whatever shape, form, or fashion of a season we do have, we have to go out here and win games. Excited about the commitment of Bashad Smith and excited about the commitment of Thomas Davis to the U. Davis is the uh, 50th rated uh, weak side defensive end, top 75 player in Georgia, three star, uh, according to the 247 Sports Composite, although they've got him rated a little bit higher uh, than the composite uh, at 247. Wholesome one. It's uh, been a whirlwind for you boys covering Miami football in a good way over the last uh, 10 days to two weeks uh, with some. Big time, big time recruits. I know you're happy about these two. Uh, and then just prior to that, some elite, elite top end talent coming your way. And um, it looks like a stellar 2021 class as long as you're able to hold on to the commits and get those uh, those letters signed in December. There you go. <laughs> and then we got coming up here soon on the first, you have Corey Collier. On the sixth, you have Leonard Taylor. And supposedly on the 11th, you have Jason Marshall. So over the next, like you said, 10 to two weeks, 10 to two weeks from today, and then 10 to two weeks in the past, we've been going crazy in recruiting. So we got to get them to come through. If we have a season, we got to put it all together. If we want to get back to the top echelon of college football, where the U should be. Go Canes. Wholesome one. We always love and appreciate the breakdown. You have a great day.